Yeah. Hope you guys are gonna enjoy that. I'm gonna put this in the, I'm gonna pause, well, I'm gonna stop the recording actually, and then I'm gonna record later, cause we only have so much space on the card. All right, see you guys at the big rock. Well, here we are. Hello everybody, Mr. J here, back here today with another video. And in today's video, today's video we're going to expose the true reason of why Mr. Rockboy is so upset. And by that I mean we're going to go into little details today. So with that being said, let's begin today's video with a commentary. criticize others about having their intro and their outro music too loud yet you're doing the same thing but you're supposed to be the one who exposes hypocrites when are you going to expose yourself for being a hypocrite wow so things are coming full circle i mean we got people like mr j bagging up people who i remember previously he said oh you shouldn't have apologized to this person and then he brings up this clip just recently yeah. hold on i want i want both of you guys to apologize. oh dude i'm more than happy to admit that i said you guys shouldn't apologize they're even the playstation legion is even aware of the fact that i said you guys shouldn't apologize you should have just let him kick you but mind you when i said that it was too fucking late and you two little bitches already did apologize just thus just make it even further and cementing the fact being of you will always always you and danger man will always be jtech tv's bitch simple yeah, funny how you're defending that guy now, when you... you when have I defended JTEC TV? This is like something that everybody keeps saying that I'm really lost on. When did I defend him? What have I defended him on? Yo, Jay, can you explain this to me? Can somebody explain this to me? Have I defended him recently and I've just been too drunk to realize it? Who knows? But here's the funny thing, dude. You, the way I met you, is through you defending JTEC. Years I've known you. You've defended JTEC. You used to have Retro bookmarked, and now you're on his podcast, but you want to talk about me flip-flopping? And the next thing I want to talk about is, let's go over the honest-to-God reason of why you're upset. You're upset because you said shit like this. You don't know what a sense, in a sense, all of you guys are just as much pirates as the pirates of the PC. Are we killing the game? The discounts are on the score, dude. I'll give you guys a little overview of what's going on. At this point, we're me, Somatic, and Son of Sam. We're talking to Mr. PlayStation Rock Boy about well, we're talking about him using de us using deals to like get cheaper prices on games digitally, get uh cheaper prices on that PSN or Xbox Live, or hell, get cheap prices on our games physically with Amazon. But he's giving us every runaround as to why he doesn't want to use these easy, accessible services. And he gets to the point where one of his excuses is, I just want to talk to the guys behind the counter. If, if you want to go in full detail of what happened for this argument and why he's really mad, a link, in the, a link will be in the description below explaining exactly what happened. But with that being said, I'm just going to play a couple of clips of the stupid things he said. Because right there, while we're explaining like you know what we do at deals, he compares us to people who steal games. The logic. But that's not the only stupid thing he said in this conversation. No, I understand you got every right to want to, but your channel is about gaming. <laughs> and you want to attract gamers to your channel, right? 
The minute they Did you not that, see the very them. end of that video? I wanted to try something that was non-game related. Out of all things, though. You're, you're forgetting, somat or Somatic. This channel is probably the oldest channel out of all the gamers on YouTube. And he's right, guys. He does have one of the oldest gaming channels in history. But you know what, PlayStation Inquisition? Since you want actual criticism, here's some criticism for you. You've been on YouTube since 2007. It is 2017, and you've been stuck at 200-something subscribers for 10 years, dude. That is fucking pathetic. Even my old channel had more subs than you. And that's fucking sad, especially considering that shadow name. But I'd rather not talk about it. But with that being said, let's go over something else, dude. Wait a minute, hold up. He made another video? Ah, oh, god fucking damn it. Alright, well, I gotta come up with a quick intro, so, um... Ah, got a perfect idea. 15% off on pre-order. I never, I never buy games on discounts on Plus, nor do I ever get the free games. I didn't say I Plus. I said Amazon. If you buy a new game, they'll give you 15 to 10% off on Wait, why don't you get the... Oh, well. Use the discounts or get the oh, free boy. games on Plus. You can use them now. No more games, sure. Because, it, because they're not permanent. The discounts? That's discounts. No, the game itself is not permanent. If you buy that game on a discount and then your subscription ends, you have to rebuy that license. Permanent. If you buy that game on a discount and then your subscription ends, you have to rebuy that license. Hey pal, you just blowing from Stupid Town? So, I seem to have some assholes leaving lots of dislikes on my channel lately. Seems whenever I make a video that gets more than the average views or a video they don't like, I get these pigeons coming to my channel obsessed with large rocks. Things. Number one, well actually three things. One, how are you going to insult other Sony fans by calling them like retarded names? Pigeon? Seriously? Yeah, dude, you've been hanging around fucking retro too long. Second thing is, you can't really, like, insult anybody or call anyone else a Sony fanboy when you yourself are the gigantic, po the biggest pony on YouTube. At least the cl biggest closet pony on YouTube. What do you do? The only non-Sony system you own is a 2DS. And I don't understand how your big-ass hands can just sit there and play with a 2DS. Third of all, you know why I've been making these rock comments and these rock jokes. Because your fat ass didn't make just one. No, you made four videos showing the same fucking thing of your fat ass going to go look at a rock for some fucking reason. Like, dude, nobody wants to watch that shit. And when we told you that, you got really pissy, dude. It's okay, man. Your videos suck. Just like Danger Man. That's why you two are friends. Yeah, and if that's not weird enough, they can't stop talking about their hairline either. <laughs> oh wait, you're serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Since you like using old clips so much, fat boy, how about I use one of yours? Hey fat boy, remember you said this? Well, that same logic here applies to the hairline thing. Oh, and, and it's it's funny how halfway through the video you finally you finally d d notice that I've been using a My Little Pony avatar. Yeah, troll bait successful, dumbass. I said it before, and I'll say it here again now. You walking around with a My Little Pony as your fucking avatar just makes you look like an even bigger faggot than you doing this and s fucking playing with a selfie stick. Like seriously, dude, where's your masculinity? Where's your manhood? Or are you just too much of a bitch and you threw all that shit out the window? I wonder if it's some kind of PTSD or something. One of these individuals seems to have a massive hate boner for a person called Rags, despite agreeing with him about the very idiot he's now following. I'm sorry to break it to you, dude, but he is not going to contact. Are you ever going to elaborate how I'm following J T Tech TV? Because I joined the PlayStation Legion doesn't mean I'm following anybody, you fucking idiot. But with that being said, can we discuss the real reason you're upset and you constantly keep making these videos? Is it because you're mad and you have this gigantic hard on for JTech TV and you just want him to love you and hug you? Fucking faggot. How strange that you now want to be best buds with someone as moronic as JTech TV. 
someone who goes so far as to stick his as to sick his subscribers and his Twitter followers on you simply because you call him out on his bullshit. Dude, I'm not aware of what 4K rock you've been living under, but Rags does that shit, and he does this shit all the time. He does this shit in his videos, and he does this shit on Twitter every single fucking day. This scrub and people like him are a cancer to the YouTube community, and to join right in with him and his little group just because you think it serves some ulterior agenda of yours makes you look like one of the most gullible idiots I've ever met. Out, oh, time out. The dude that got exposed for making rock videos, and then right after that we told him, "Yo, dude, you have a gaming channel. Where's your gameplay?" Right after that conversation, you start uploading gameplay. So I'm the gullible idiot, and second of all. Who are you to call somebody an idiot after you said this stupid shit? Permanent. If you buy that game on discount and then your subscription ends, you have to rebuy that license. The idea of who the more foolish is, the fool or the fool following him, seems to fit perfectly here. What makes the situation even more sad is the fact that in order to cast your lot with the Pony Legion, you basically go back on everything you ever said about the guy, claiming that, oh, I've buried the hatchet between us. You know, what's really happening is that you, you, you debase yourself down to his level and can no longer stand up for anything you claim to stand for in the past, for fear that he and his legion of ponies will turn on you. Serious right now? Are you aware of the fact being that everybody in the PlayStation Legion knows my preferences are both Nintendo and Microsoft consoles when Microsoft is doing the right fucking thing and has games to play? They know I prefer them over PlayStation. So what's your point you're beating into? I myself as a person have not changed because I joined the PlayStation Legion. I just now have more people to game with on PSN because unlike your fat ass, these people buy fucking games. How about that? You know, we got this guy, the guy who wants to sit here and call and say that he exposes hypocrites, but he doesn't support, doesn't like the idea of PlayStation Plus, yet he has a PlayStation Plus subscription. This is the guy that wants to say he exposes hypocrites, yet he was sitting here bitching about remasters with Yules at the start of the generation. And what did he just go out and buy? Oh, he just went out and bought the Skyrim remaster, and he owns Skyrim on PS3. But like I said, I'm the fucking... You can't really afford that now, that you're neck deep in the bile that he's been spewing all these years. Now that you're part of his little herd, the fact that I don't have any respect for it seems like reason enough for you and your lot to come after me. I'm well aware that I said I wouldn't address this clown in my last video, but I thought it would help to explain the situation to those who get confused whenever they pop into my live streams, which should no longer be an issue now that they're blocked. Anyway, just thought I would clear up some things up, though I have no doubt that they will flock to dislike this video. If these trolls come your way, just ignore them. Don't dignify their presence with a reply. This is the PlayStation Inquisition, signing out. Stop you there again, because once again, your outro is too loud, but you like to criticize others about the same fucking thing. Ugh, but I digress. So let's go over something. Um, let's get one thing straight for everybody out there confused. Unlike these two idiots, PlayStation Inquisition and PS3 RPG fan, I will admit, yeah, my personality towards these two fuckwads have completely changed. Well, not so much Danger Man, because I didn't really fuck with Danger Man, because Danger Man's nothing more than a pathetic little scary-ass pussy. Let's be honest, the dude uploaded a video with, about me, all he did in the video was sound like a butthurt a butt ex-girlfriend, and once I proved him wrong, did my commentary on it, he took his video down. And Danger Man does this, he's been doing this since I met him. Now, PlayStation Inquisition here, I'm a little bit more disappointed in this guy because I thought this guy was like actually my friend. But then, because he said, came into the party, because he came in, and he said some stupid shit to Son of Sam and Somatic, he wants to take that on on me. He removed me, he removed Jet Big Boss, all because he said stupid shit like, Oh, if, if you buy a game on PlayStation Plus, and your subscription expires, when you buy that game off the discounts they have, you have to rebuy that game again. The fuck? 
Uh, but I digress on the stupid things this guy has said. Let's give no, let's just wrap this video up by saying, yes, people, I am in the PlayStation Legion. You can tell now by this avatar right here. But with that being said, that doesn't change the kind of person I am or the kind of gamer I am. And if any of you feel that, oh, he's following JTIC TV, he's blindly following JTIC TV, that's what I gotta say. I ended my drama with JTIC TV. But if I was blindly following this man, then my videos on him would go down. But with that being said, see you guys later. Mr. J out. Have a wonderful day. I'm about to get that platinum on Horizon Zero Dawn, baby.